Welcome into GoStatesman.com. I'm Benjamin DeShong. I had a chance to sit down with freshman sensation swimmer Danny Mirholz, the Johannesburg, South African native, had a chance to compete in the 2012 NCAA Division II National Championships, taking a 13th place finish overall in the B Conci final of the 500 free. We had a chance to sit down with the swimmer and learn a little bit about her career growing up and then her first year at Delta State. It was a little bit overwhelming, kind of n nervous, but scared in the beginning. But being able to go there was a great experience. Um, I learned a lot and being able to swim in the consoles, having a second chance enabled me to go faster or well, try and go faster and better my time. And luckily I was able to do that. The prelims were fast. All the morning heats, everyone was, they knew they had to be quick and well well under their times just to make it back into the finals. So when I heard that I did make it back, I was excited, I was ready to go faster in the evening swim. And I think it was, I was lucky that I was able to. I had a good morning race. My goal time was to get the A cut. Um, that unfortunately didn't happen, but I got really close and I was praying and hoping that I got close enough and I was lucky enough to be in the top 17 and to be chosen to go. And when I heard that I was, I was really happy. My goal was to go to nationals and that goal was, was achieved. I loved water from a little baby and my mom sent me to swimming lessons at my request. And from then, I never stopped. I'm actually the only one in my family who swims. My brothers all play ball sports and neither of my parents swam, but they both encouraged me and were real supportive. It was mainly, I looked up to the seniors in my club. When I first joined the club with my swimming coach, my very first swimming coach, I looked up to the seniors on the team and watched how they trained in practices and that's basically where I got my motivation from, to be like them. I, I was actually a breaststroker when I was little. I still enjoy swimming breaststroke, but I think over the years I've adapted to freestyle and become more comfortable with freestyle and it's definitely now my main stroke. I was 14 at the time, that's ninth grade, and the coach that I was with, he had quite a few swimmers that their goal was to swim in college. And after seeing them compete and achieve their goals, I realized that, hey, that's what I want to do. Definitely the coaches, Coach Daniel and both Coach Elena were very helpful. They helped me with the whole, the whole process of filling out the forms and the procedures I have to go through. Being an international, they were accommodating and answered all the questions that I had. Also, we have a great facility. I love the pool. I was immediately attracted to campus with it being slightly smaller and more family orientated. I thought I'd fit well in this situation. It's definitely made a difference. I don't think I could have done all that I did if it wasn't for the team. They've been supportive and encouraged me throughout the whole year. And this team is very close. We, we stand by each other through the hard practices, through the not so good races and our personal bests. And it's good to know that they're there for us. I think our main goal now is to try and get more of our teammates to nationals. I know it's my personal mission to get more of my teammates and maybe even possibly a girls relay to nationals. And so I'm very excited for next year and the next three years actually for competing well and building up to nationals with the goal of taking more of us to nationals. Yes, we unfortunately we do have to lose Casey, she is a senior, but 
we're lucky that we have more of a younger team and there are only 13 of us so there's a lot of room to build on that and it's nice knowing that when we come back we're going to know majority of the girls and we're going to know how they train and how they race and how we can build off that and feed relays and get stronger as a girls team. When I finished my 500, Coach Daniel said that I must be open to the possibility of the 1,000. So I could in the future start swimming the 1,000. I would, however, like to more focus on the 200 and the 500 and stick to middle distance. But there's always the possibility to branch out and who knows, I might just make an A cut in that event.